Good afternoon, Trinity High School, and welcome to this week's Franciscan Friday. As I am here with Senior Izzy Kuchis, and we are going to be talking about searching for peace in our lives. Through the many stages of our lives, most of us are at times searching for peace. The poet Ralph Waldo Emerson said that nobody can bring you peace but yourself. The spiritual author Dr. Wayne W. Dyer said that peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is rather than as you think it should be. I believe that both of these gentlemen know a great deal more about this than I do, but I have some of my own ideas that I will share with you as we go. While gathering some information on this subject, I came across something called the Symptoms of Inner Peace, which I would like to share with you at this time. Inner peace can cause an unmistakable ability to enjoy each and every moment of our lives. It can cause a loss of interest in judging each other and judging ourselves too harshly. It can cause a loss of interest in being involved with continual conflicts and losing the ability to worry and to be under stress. It also causes frequent overwhelming episodes of appreciation. Contended feelings of being connected with others and with nature and frequent bouts of smiling like a lot of us don't do anymore because we've been wearing masks and also an increased susceptibility to the love extended by others as well as the uncontrollable urge to extend it beyond yourself. These symptoms of inner peace are something that all of us would like to catch and be infected with throughout our lives. But what do we need to do to come into contact with this wonderful disease called inner peace? First and foremost, we all need to slow down and take a breath, or a few breaths. With that comes developing a focus on what is truly important in our lives. Whenever possible, spend some time alone. Learn that being in solitude in a quiet place can truly help to clear your mind. Having time alone allows us to recharge and reflect on where we want to go on our journey through life. Always be in the present. Take responsibility for past decisions and move on and forget about them. Peace occurs in the present. We cannot reconstruct the past and we have very little control of our future. Focus on all of the positive aspects of your life. Think about the small things you have that you are grateful for. Your home, your family and friends that love you very much and the love that you give back to them. In John chapter 13 verse 34, Jesus proclaims, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Look at the people around you. Think about what they are going through. What can we do to help and support them? Are they struggling with anything in their lives? Sometimes we think only of ourselves and our own problems. But what can we do to help others? Reach out to them and maybe our troubles won't seem so bad in comparison. Spend more time with God and trust in his plan. Try to spend extra time with God and take all of your problems and worries and lay them at his feet. No matter what we go through as individuals, families, communities, and beyond, God has a plan for each one of us. Trust in him and lean on him during the difficult times. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you all. I would now like to turn it over to Izzy and she's going to share some of her feelings about finding peace in her life. So what is peace? Well, peace is an abiding joy within yourself that ultimately leads you to find rest in whatever it is you are battling. It grants you an ability to freely be present in every moment. Peace is also personal meaning everyone finds it differently, and the way it manifests through every individual is unique. 
It takes a journey to find what your source of peace is, but it also takes acknowledgement of one thing. That is, that while peace leads you to consolation, it doesn't grant you immunity. Peace is not the absence of trouble, but it's the presence of Christ within those troubles. It does not exempt you from any of life's difficulties, but rather it grants you inner rest. Manifesting peace in your life takes a bit of self-discovery, simply because you must find what it is that brings you peace. However, once you uncover this area within your life that grants you true comfort, you know you've encountered your outlet of peace. The more of a conscious effort you make to seek it daily, the more it exudes through you, bearing the ability to touch other people as well. Personally, I've always found peace in the aspect of community. Finding peace tends to be associated with being in a deep state of silence or prayer, but I've always seen it in the loud, joy-filled moments of my life that I've shared with others. I've discovered my peace after experiencing my first ever retreat freshman year. Serving with others and being vulnerable with people I never even acknowledged in the hallways brought me a distinct, unfamiliar joy. From there on out, I distinguished that the love and exuberance found in an authentic community of people was really the main way peace encapsulated my life. I've also experienced it simply from the people I spend time with daily, whether that be in the port before school, or bonding with teammates, going for drives with people, or even just having a good conversation with someone at lunch. Overall, the fulfillment found in my relationships with others has continued to uphold the peace within my heart. Peace is the fixation of God's grace in the present moment. It's a virtue granting you deliverance from your battles once you allow it to become prevalent in your life. When peace, while peace is personal, it's easily shared just by your witness to it. When you feel peace, you radiate an ebullience that serves as a beacon for others. Your peace might be an inspiration to someone struggling to find it in their own life. It isn't always easy to find it, or let alone to even accept it. However, persevering in search of peace becomes ev evident in your life, and everything you do is immediately given purpose. Psalm 34 verse 14 says, to seek peace and pursue it. When you are consistently seeking peace, you are also seeking Christ. Thank you so much, Izzy, on your insights into peace. For me personally, my search for peace usually involves the beauty of God's creations. There's nothing better than an early morning round of golf with friends. Watching the sun come up, get high in the sky, and it helps to remove the fog and the dew off the grass on the greens and the fairways. Listening to the sounds of nature, and sometimes the sound of one of my friends yelling, Four, as his ball is quickly approaching my location. Spending time on or near the water is always a calming and peaceful experience for me. I remember a time spent in northern Michigan staying in a cottage directly on the shores of Lake Huron when the gently rolling waves would hit the shoreline and eventually put me to sleep in a chair on the beach. Some of my most peaceful times have been in solitude or with friends at Camp Chris, just looking out over the lake and remembering the incredible experiences that have taken place over the last 20 years. I truly believe that my most peaceful times in life happened when I felt closest to God. When I was alone in nature and surrounded by the beauty of it all and was able to talk and listen to God. Adoration is another special time for me when I feel at peace with God and myself in his holy presence. It is a great time to forget about all the problems in your life and all the problems in the world and dedicate your time in adoration to just you and God. Everyone has their own ways of searching for and finding peace in their lives. You just have to slow down, take the time to do it. Whether it's spending time alone, spending time with God, spending time with friends and family, or a combination of all those things. You just must do it. If finding peace involves gardening, cooking, reading, baking, hiking, praying, biking, listening to music, singing, or even watching an Indians game at Progressive Field, one of my favorites, or going to the beach and catching some rays. 
Take the time to bring peace into your life. Be able to enjoy each moment, to forget about what people think of you, to reconnect with nature and with each other, to smile frequently and bring the peace and love of God to each and every person you meet. I would like to end this with a very short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness and faithfulness in my life. Thank you for refreshing and renewing my heart. Fill me with your peace. Fill me with your strength. Help me to do good works and stand firm until I see my harvest of blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we would like to have you go into your classrooms and talk about the different ways that you can find peace in your life.